Welcome to another episode. Um, today I will focus on a villager breeding and villager trading hall. Um, over here you see my trading experience. Um, I think I found a very nice solution uh, of a working uh, villager breeder quite fast, very fast um, and very productive. Uh, let's get on to it. So over here we have the main base. Um, this is an uh, ID from Impulse SV. Um, so one pole and then uh, in this case uh, 12 beds, minus two for the villagers uh, up there. You can produce 10 small villagers. The only issue with that is that it stays at 10 and then we need to find uh, the right distance. So uh, we will also focus on the trading hall and how can you change jobs um, and, and make the best out of it. And that's over here. Over here you can see um, a librarian and no trades I made so far. And I can change his profession by placing another uh, workstation, destroy that one. He's making the new one connection. And over here we have now Riptide and ooh, Blast Protection. Um, so now this is a good trait. Um, it's not the same as at Java that you can lock this trait. Um, you can trade with the guy, but when you still change his workstation, he will change uh, again the trait. And let me show that um, and, and books. So let's try it Riptide. Uh, we traded with him um, right now he has some xp um, and when we train change the workstation he now has a bookshelf so um, it's not the same as in java it, in java is after one trade it's locked and it will not change anymore uh, over here it still keeps changing uh, so if you have done enough trades of let's say the riptide we have here uh, then you can still change the, your guy, so you do not need that much uh, villagers anymore for the trading hall. I experimented with different sizes um, and over here I found that this size is the best for pathfinding his workstation. Uh, it's bigger than it used to be, but I think it's still quite nice. So um, from the trading hall back to uh, where it all will start, uh, the center, uh, over there you see two villagers breeding, um, they right now have four, four plus eight beds, so 12 beds, uh, just like I said before, so they can produce 10 villagers in a close range, uh, because all the small villagers are using those beds, they claim those beds with uh, a connection. So that connection um, um, yeah, is strong enough so they will lock out actually new productions. Uh, what you saw me doing was throwing some food at the villagers to, to make sure they will keep on breeding. They need uh, enough food for breeding. Um, and then at the end they will lock until uh, they have uh, 10 villagers down there. Um, and from there you need to transport them away to make sure the connections uh, will be lost between the bats and the small villagers and uh, the, the other two villagers can breed again. Um, you saw I gave them some food and they are producing again. And we have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight villagers over here. Um, but actually we already produced a few, another, a few others. Um, in the beginning I had the issue that I was transporting them away, but still the villagers will not produce more small villagers. The issue was that you need them be far and far away from their beds. And if they are far away enough from their beds, they will um, um, yeah, lose their beds. So the bed is open for a new villager again. Uh, so first I moved it all the way to here and I found out it was not working. I moved it to there, it was still not working and all the villagers were still uh, locked after uh, 10 uh, villagers. And then I moved it over here and that's working. So if you 
have uh, a certain distance like this and I will um, mark out how much blocks this uh, is um, it will work and then you can start to transport them into a trading hole like that uh, and it will come back to that later so what I did I used this map uh, to calculate the distance um, because the maps in uh, Minecraft PlayStation 4 are the only way to uh, know the X, Y and Z uh, coordinates um, as far as I know and you saw we started at uh, 220 and over here the first bet is at 320 so I counted like a distance of 100 blocks and they will lose their bets uh, maybe it's a bit closer but yeah it's around that number so I, I will take uh, the 100 uh, for my um, uh, experiments and uh, my own buildings because you know I, I don't need that compact as possible I need the most functional as possible most easy way and then it's 100 blocks um, or 99 blocks that doesn't make that difference for me so I will use uh, 100 blocks uh, so that's the information I can give you uh, over here maybe you want to know how this works um, if you use a closed corner and it can be normal blocks uh, it doesn't need to be glass um, okay I lowered the sound volume because they were making a lot of noise uh, when you put a mic card in the corner you see a villager is pumping in and will go off Sometimes they will get stuck on those positions, uh, but later on they will go further. Uh, I, all the time I stop the mine, uh, their mine rails from powering uh, and then push them away again. And then the next. And sometimes it will take a while because uh, the villagers still have a bit of control of the minecart, so they will push in that direction. Uh, if they pushing a bit more in this direction they will fly off immediately um, why it's sometimes not working like a powered reels and I put them direct in so right now it was working immediately but sometimes uh, because they are pushing uh, to the sides over here because of the water stream that's floating this way they will push an empty mil uh, minecart already um, away um, but right now it's working um, And I can try it and maybe we find, you see, uh, there was an empty one. Um, so let's hope. Yeah, there's another empty one. So I can better wait to one is sitting and then trick the lever and he will go off. Uh, that one is was empty. Uh, it's already filling up with new guys. Uh, it seems to be that they have still enough food to produce more. Um, I give them still every time I play I give them a bit of food um, you can also adjust it with a, a food farm uh, so a carrot farm so they will still always uh, have enough supply of carrots over here uh, is the amount of villagers we got so far um, so let's crack on these empty minecarts we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, but maybe I counted it wrong. Um, so enough, well, <laughs> more than enough, and I'm just busy for uh, 20 minutes, I guess. So it's very productive um, uh, villager breeder over there well, uh, and make a kind of a trading hall over here so um, that they can bring in with a minecart uh, that the mine rails will block the way over there for the rest of the race um, until we give and go for a new minecart to um, go inside the system. Uh, so you can swap between villagers but actually if you, what you see they are all brown coats um, and in the past you needed to choose between the villager uh, profession but right now you can give all those brown coats every profession you want by using the right um, workstation um, but still I want to show you how to bring them to your specific points uh, and then after that block the system 
So I made this mini trading um, place uh, for one villager and I tracked down one villager over this trail train track uh, over here and he is right now here uh, but he's still young and small so he cannot have a profession right now uh, and I keep him in the minecart um, until he's uh, fully grown uh, right now he already connected to this bed so um, I think that's quite good um, and yeah, I will wait until he is grown uh, and we can um, yeah, check if he is uh, changing profession uh, still but wh while he is still sitting in his minecart because that will help us a lot with movement around and maybe we can then make this place smaller. But okay yeah. guys, this is quite funny. Um, the small villager is next to his bed but still laying in his minecart sleeping uh, never seen that before so uh, during waiting for the villager to grow up um, I made uh, a kind of a trail junction um, uh, one time use only um, what will it do uh, the minecart will come over there take corner we'll go over here take this corner and we'll end up over here and then you want to close this part of the system so for that we have a detector wheel that will power this piston then we'll push out of the way uh, the powered rails then we need an update for the corner and over there we have a sticky piston that's right now activated then you deactivate it by powering um, and use the single of the detector rail depower the sticky piston it will retract the rail and then we'll push back the rail and the rail will go straight and right now i will show you um, so over here you have the let's say the minecart coming in and you want it to end up like there and let's go like this then you can see it as well it's going into this box um, you saw very fast an update over here you saw pushing out of the way of the um, activator track and right now when you have a minecart it will go straight i will show you now how to reset this system because that's not automated um, and you need to break this one and this one you first place your power drill your power drill is always um, the first option of uh, a truck so you place it and their corner is made you can use it again and again and again i will show you again so easy so there are we again uh, at our villager he's grown up right now and let's place a lectern in this corner and check if he yeah it works Okay, let's play another lectern and delete that one. And yeah, he finds it again. So now you can swap between his professions and even change his profession to another one. So let's with the composter, make a farmer. And that's easy for trading, uh, let's say uh, wheat or pumpkins. Uh, so you can make some emeralds uh, and then buy a book at a librarian okay um, that's villager number one uh, let's try to link up this and bring number two to this place and even this villager now grown up is sleeping in his minecart next to his bed so funny so what did I what have I done I made one next box ready with one bed that one is still empty because you don't want the villager that's ending up in this one picking that bed. So this bed is open right now. This bed is closed by him and his workstation is closed. Uh, let's get a villager from there. So over here, there's the breeder. And you see it, they are quite full over here. Um, that's fine, you can let them stay here for <laughs> as long as you want and pick every time one villager to that spot uh, that's the most safe way of doing it otherwise you can get stuck and off he goes 
and let's hope it works yeah so okay and you see he found his bed uh, because he is already grown we can immediately give him a job um, I think a very good one for trading is uh, a composter so a farmer uh, it's quite easy to give him a job and yeah he found it and carrots uh, carrots are very easy with a carrot uh, farm to produce uh, you can even um, improve your carrot farm with uh, a villager so you can use this villager for your carrot farm um, you need two villagers for a good pro uh, working carrot farm uh, and you can expand that to five villagers with a larger area then you can use this villager for trading uh, the other is uh, pumpkin uh, you can make an automated pumpkin farm um, and I can show that later yeah he is stuck over there but I'm not sure why oh, there he's going okay this could be an issue because he was hurt um, and he's dropping quite far let's push him a bit back so we can move he was uh, immediately connected to his new bed so that's fine and from him now what should we do we can make everything uh, this is for wool trading i guess and that can be quite interesting as well because the sheep farms are quite easy right now this brown i prefer white there are more white sheep than brown sheep brown will he stick to brown or will he change once yeah okay that's a white one easy for trading um, this are, is an example you can extend this quite easy um, and uh, I will show you uh, to how to make one of this by yourself so um, over here you have the three by three box so I extend this one with four In my testing world, this is glass. You need to replace that with iron uh, if you want to place a bet on it. Um, bets you can only place on solid blocks. Okay. Close up, place a bet, and then we will make this part. So right here we need um, powered block you can place this one then we need a powered rail not actually so uh, a detector rail uh, a normal rail uh, a normal piston sticky piston um, and repeater a torch and some redstone um, and a solid block so let's take an iron block so over here we place the Uh, detector rail a normal piston over here and we put a redstone single over here um, place a block over here then place some blocks over here and we need to go one more down and then oh, power that one and this one needs a torch so it will um, activate a piston over here the piston let's extend that and so right now this is a working system i think with this way we have a function trading hall and a villager breeder uh, and of course you can extend this villager breeder by um, uh, a carrot or a potato farm uh, just then I should say uh, look up the videos of Il Mango of uh, Impulse SV uh, they made uh, a Java edition but uh, that Java farm is working as well for those villagers thanks you all for watching uh, if you have any questions leave a comment I hope you enjoyed it